Hi everyone, Melissa here. So, uh, my husband had a great idea and he brought up a really good point. I have a lot of viewers that probably have never actually dipped their nails before and aren't quite sure if they want to invest the money to try it out and see if it's something they would like to do. So he said that I should find some kits on Amazon and, um, do a little review on them or not like a review, but just test them out, see how they work. Um, to give an idea to people who might want to get something small to see if they like doing dip powder. And the ideas that he came up with, and he actually found these kits for me, was to find the lowest price kit on Amazon that you could get. And by kit, I mean full kit, so it has everything you need. That means if you don't have anything to get started with doing dip powder, you should be able to do your nails with this. Um, so this is the lowest price kit that he could find. This is a, oh, this kit was $10 on Amazon right now. Um, it did say that it was a price reduction, uh, but there are multiple of them, different kits with different colors. They're all $10. It says they are originally 20. Um, but for now they are $10 and uh, they come with, Okay, so it cute. It has a little a little bag. This is um, this is Model Ones is the brand, um, and I actually have not used these before that I recall. I I don't know, possibly have, but if so, it's been a very long time. Um, so it comes with this cute bag. It says Dip Powder Kit. Inside you have a buffer. You have your liquids. You have a brush just to brush off excess powder. You've got a file. You have a orange stick, which is fantastic. Clean up those cuticles. It's really nice. It comes with this. And then four colors. So the kit that he got me um, has two kind of like nudie pink colors, it looks like. And then white and clear. And white and clear are pretty good staple colors. Clear, you definitely want to have if you're going to do glitters or anything like that. If you intend to um, continue doing dip powder and you want to add to your collection. Clear goes over glitters so that you don't buff off the glitters. And then we have instructions here. The first thing you always want to do when you get a new dip powder set, especially liquids, is look at the instructions because dip powder liquids are generally very easy to contaminate. They're essentially super glue. And the activator, I mean, it's resin. So the activator starts the hardening process on the resin, which is what causes the um, liquid and powder to harden on your nail. But if the resin part of the liquid set is really sensitive, the brush can harden and then that resin gets into the bottle and the entire bottle can harden. And you wanna make sure that you're timing it correctly. A lot of companies say about two minute timing. Some are longer. I typically prefer liquids that aren't sensitive so I don't have to wait, um, but I don't expect that these are gonna be that. Here we have um, our instructions. Wash your hands, use nail clipper, your general prep stuff, push back your cuticles, um, buff the nail, the oils off. Okay, so it says apply your base, dip, activate. I'll go, we'll go through all those steps when I'm doing it. File and buff. Activator, this says air dry for 60 seconds is the timing that it gives on this. So we're gonna do 60 seconds and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Like I said, there's clear in here, which is great. Now what? The quality of clear is, that's a question, because not all clears are created equal. So it's like a nice peachy pink color. A nice pale pink color, also kind of peachy toned.
Okay, and one of these are white, one of these are clear. I'm gonna go with this white. This is the white because it has like a little bit more of a chalky texture and um, the white pigment that's usually used to make whites kind of gives it more of a chalkiness. And it just looks like more pure white. I don't know if you can see the difference there. That looks more like clear. But I am gonna test the clear um, on this just to see how good the clear is. I like to know. Uh, how different brands clears are. Okay, so I on further upon further inspection It does say transparent on the side so you can see this one is clear um, I'm gonna kind of give it a little test because you want to make sure that your um, Clear is truly clear if your clue your clear is not truly clear It can add kind of a cloudiness and a graininess to your glitters and that's not very good um, and just like to see what what kind of quality clear are you getting for this $10? So I'm just going to do one dip of the clear over the top. Um, I'm doing it over black because black is the best um, test for clear. If I do it directly on a swatch stick, the dip liquids do make the uh, plastic of the swatch cloudy. So it's really not a good test. You can't really tell. I'm just going to pour this over. I'm going to do one layer. Make sure I brush off all the excess powder. You can get like a scrub brush even, I mean to really scrub in there and make sure you're getting all those excess grains off for our clears that um, are more prone to cloudiness that sometimes help, helps. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this and see. Okay, honestly, that is not bad at all. Um, as far as different clears that I've seen, this is pretty high up there in quality. I don't see a lot of, I don't see really any grains in there at all. So yeah, I mean, just for the clear alone, that might be worth it. I did not know that the Model 1's clear was that good. The things you learn. Okay, so. Um, I had already opened this as you saw because I used it to do the swatch, but um, it opened up pretty easily. It didn't get caught a lot of liquids because it is resin, essentially super glue. It's difficult to open. I don't really have any problems with that. One of my biggest concerns and one thing that I don't like in dip powder liquids is a two-in-one basin top. That's going to be my probably biggest gripe of this set because the top coat can easily contaminate from the activator and if your top coat contaminates and it's a two-in-one then that means your base coat's contaminated too which is frustrating so you just have to be extra careful um to avoid contamination when you have a two-in-one but either way i mean for the price you can't complain and great backup set if nothing else or swatch set all right, let's do our first coat. So I'm just gonna do a thin coat. I like I like the thinness of this brush. I think that's gonna be good for people with smaller nails. I just like to push up and hug right against the cuticle line when I do this. I'm gonna put this first coat on and then pull down around the sides. It fans, brush fans out nicely. It applies well. Um, I think this first layer is going to dry pretty quickly because I do have peel base on and peel base makes that first layer dry more quickly so I'm probably going to have some patchiness on this. All right, just, yeah, a little bit again because that peel base makes that uh, first layer dry qu more quickly. And then I've got this little orange stick so I'm going to use that to go around the cuticle and clean that up. Get a nice clean line brush brush off excess this powder seems a little thick but again um, a lot of more white based powders tend to be a little bit thicker because of the pigment that's used in the white
Alright, once that second layer is on, it's not too bad though. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just keep dipping these. Or pouring over, I guess, is what I'm actually doing, but... Okay, I'm just gonna, any additional thoughts I have while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna stop and voice them. The brush on this is kind of long, so it makes it a little awkward um, applying. I don't know, I'm just like, I'm not used to having to hold my hand out quite this far to apply the liquid, um, but it's still going okay. What that does mean though, I think it, it's because the bottle's a little bit taller which means that the brush actually reaches the bottom of the bottle, which you'll find is not the case with a lot of dip powder liquids that you get. So that is a plus and I would take the trade off for sure. Okay, so I've done just three layers here um, of the dip powder and I think it's a pretty good um, thickness that it shouldn't chip or crack uh, because the powder itself has a good thickness to it so um, I think three will be fine if you are new to dip powder or you're just wanting to start it and you were like gosh I wish that she had slowed down and given me more um, in detailed steps or um, instruction or tips advice anything I do have a video um, with basics tips and tricks I go over uh, all the things that people should know when they first start and some of the things that I wish I had known when I first started. I also have a video on hand filing dip powder. Um, so if you need more or when you see me filing, you're wanting a little bit more information on that, you can look for that too. But I'm going to go ahead and activate this. After we activate it, we want to give a couple minutes just for the layers to fully harden. All right, I just like to give it a tap to test the hardness. You can hear like you're hitting against a hard surface, kind of. And then you know it's uh, solidified enough to start filing. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use the file that they have. I'm not positive, I think I'm gonna use this side. This is a really heavy, really high grit um, side and one that's a little bit less. And I'm actually going to see if I can use this to season my file so I don't cut myself. Seasoning your file is when you, these edges right here can cut you. They can hurt you if it is still, if it's brand new. These can get pretty sharp against your skin. So you like to take another file and go against that to kind of soften those edges down. I'm seeing if this will do the trick just so if you don't have any other files, you know that you can still accomplish it. Okay, so that's not too bad and it will work, but for me, for my sake, I am going to use another file to continue to um, get this down a little. All right, hand filing, reshaping done. I'm going to go ahead and use the buffer block here and just kind of buff out any little lumps or bumps or edges. Okay, not in love um, with the teeny tiny vial and buffer just because they're difficult to control. The file wasn't too bad. Um, I was actually able to get pretty nicely around the cuticle, not as nicely as I usually would with my thinner file, but it did the trick and it filed over the top nicely. But again, um, pretty hard to control, but I do have larger hands, so that might be part of why. Um, I've never been a fan of these tiny orange buffer blocks because they're just so small um, and difficult to control, but 
you're getting all of this stuff to do nails for ten dollars so can't complain about it really okay so now I've got those all filed I'm gonna go ahead and activate and then we'll wait our 60 seconds and then I will start the top coat process Swipe over the nail for that first layer of top coat. Just quick, like, few swipes, because the less it actually contacts the nail, the less it's gonna uh, be in contact with that activator. Because this activator layer is to make the top coat dry properly. So far we have no brush hardening, that's a good sign. Um, I'm just going to make sure that this first layer of top coat is completely dry before I put this second one on. All right, so I'm just gonna say I am not mad at these liquids. I, uh, they, it dried within, I'd say two minutes. Um, they dried very evenly. Um, there are some top coats out there that are so finicky with the activator that even if you time them right, sometimes you'll have like matte splotchy spots because you just have to, they have to be absolutely perfect. So. I like when liquids have a little bit more give and you can work with them more easily. You don't have to set perfect timers or um, do it a really, really specific way. Uh, one thing I didn't do that you should always do is brush off the brush on a paper towel in between top coats. But I have a bad habit of not doing that because the top coat I use doesn't contaminate usually. So it's just, it's not a habit I have. but. Definitely something that is a good idea to do, especially for a two-in-one, because if it does get contaminated, you lose your base coat too. You don't want to do that. But these worked really, really well. I love the shine. I love that they dried within two minutes. They dried evenly. I didn't have any brush hardening. And the base coat went on really nicely. Only thing I didn't love was the length of it, but that is such a small thing, and I was able to work through it, and it's fine, just something I'm not used to again. Um, but these are fantastic, especially considering most dip liquids are $10 a bottle for a free bottle set around there, anywhere from seven to 10 for each bottle for a three bottle set. So for $10, you get these two, you get three colors, one being white, which is a staple color. Um, and then you get clear as well. Uh, there are other sets, like I said, that have no clear, that are just four colors, and there were some really pretty ones there um, that I saw. But you also get a brush, you get a buffer, you get a file, you get an orange stick, you get everything that you need to do a full set of nails. So if you feel like you want to try out dip powder, I think this is a really good option for you. It's going to be pretty user-friendly, um, beginner-friendly. And for such a price, I, the price I paid for my very first dip powder kit compared to this, um, I just, I can't believe it. I wish they'd had stuff like this available when I first started, but yeah, if this is something, dip powder is something you want to try, try it out. If dip powder is something you already do, get them. I mean, it's 10 bucks and you get a backup set of liquids and you get four gorgeous colors. These are quarter ounce and they last you for a long time. I mean, quarter ounce is a perfect size 
so yeah um definitely a kit worth um worth getting but um i'll be back with my next video i also have the highest rated dip powder kit that i'm going to try out and i'm excited to try those because i'm really curious if it can beat this i don't i don't i don't know if it can um but we will see so make sure you keep an eye out and you join me for that one i will see you next time